Hi guys, welcome back to my video. Today I want to show you my asparagus bed that I just made with my daughter about three, three or three and a half months ago in the spring, early spring. I went to Lowe's and I bought some crowns, I think three bags of crowns, and then we transplant them into the ground that evening. So now here they are. Um, the bed is <laughs> finally tidy up and it's presentable for me to do a video and talk about my asparagus plants that's here. So that is right here. That is how they look like when they first come out from uh, the stock, from the crown. See this one right here, it's a lot bigger. Look at that, that young green leaves. They are just soft and smooth. Gorgeous. And then that's the stem right here. See? To the tip. And then uh, eventually they will flower for me. So, but right now they are just trying to focus on growing. Yeah, look at that. I just love this green on here. It's like it's almost like a like I said a f almost like a fern plant. So this plant right here, some some are called some people call them asparagus, and some people call them sparrow grass. So they have two names: sparrow grass and asparagus. I've been eating them for a long, long time, and I always call them asparagus. These are perennial flowering plant. They are native to Europe, from Spain, um, Ireland, Germany, very popular over there. And I did not know that they are also from, at one time they were classified in the lily family. Very surprised, surprising to know that, but Yep, at one time they were classified in the, the lily family. My tallest plant and of course they got that leaves there and then this is the stem right here and then that's the uh, the spare it, it, this one right here used to be a spare, but it gotten older, so now it's just, um, it just became woody and then you can't harvest anymore. I can't show you the spare anymore, but let me try to find you one that has a spare. As you could tell, that's the new shoots right there. The shoots is still young, it's still soft, it's flexible, look at even bounce back. Okay, so this right here at one time oh cicada I love that <laughs> insect they're just loud so this one right here at one time it was a uh, spare let's see if we can focus it but I don't know why it's dying on me and then but this is a new one a new shoot that is coming out so and then it gets tall like that one um, and then uh, because they're still young this is the first couple months in their life a couple months right now um, I can't harvest them I have to let them grow into you know mature plants but that's how they grow so that's a spare and then I mean a spare or a shoot you can call that and then they get mature up and then they become hard and woody just like the main stem right here and then they would just grow 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 until they have leaves and then eventually these leaves will give flowers so right now we just have the little fern leaf style of asparagus all over the bed like i love it how green and lush they are once these plants right here can get tall they can get up to 40 to 60 inches tall if we don't harvest them so that's pretty tall right and uh, when you harvest them after you harvest them they come back 
because they're per perennial, they come back yearly. So don't worry about not be able to, <laughs> to, don't worry about replanting your asparagus. They will, man, these things, when we were growing them in California, our bed within, uh, I think we had it for three years, but in three years it was filled with asparagus and fern. They were just hanging all over our bed and they, they produce and reproduce like crazy. So if you love asparagus, you won't be disappointed at all. And, and, and don't worry, you know, you were thinking, oh, maybe if they're going crazy like that, I don't want them to be very invasive and take over my whole garden bed or my, you know, my whole entire bed. So don't worry about it. Um, it's not that invasive like mint. Oh, mint are just out of control crazy. But these ones, you can, you know, you can control them. And uh, once you uh, you made a asparagus bed, these thing can last for over 20 years. 10 years or longer if you, uh, you know, give them water here and there and don't neglect them that bad. They will come back for you over and over and over every year. And when they come back, they, they come back bigger, thicker, and uh, better. Just like, you know, how the store is when they sell their asparagus. Let me come over here. Like I said, they are just like fern as of now. It's all the leaves right here. We have more on that side. So, and uh, there's so many things you can cook uh, when it comes to preparing your asparagus. I like them in my stir fried, you know, I sometimes I stir fry them with whatever meat I have, mainly chicken, chicken pork, or if, if, if I'm lucky, I'll get shrimp. So you just stir fry them, cut them nicely, nice, nicely, and just throw them in your stir fried. Or some, some like them grill uh, with butter and stuff, pepper and salt. And then you can also put them in stew, lots of stews and soups. They're, they are they are also good. Uh, let's see. And then some of them, uh, for me, I like them steam because I eat a lot of a dish called the krung. And when I steam them, I will, I'll dip it with my sauce. And then I'll eat it like that way with rice. That's how I like my asparagus. My kids like them steam, steam as well. So we're a pretty easygoing family. We don't go little you know crazy when it comes to cooking just simple basic and if you uh, happen to have a lot of asparagus because within you know five years or so because it multiply and 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 produce and if there's extra what other people can do too is uh pickle them you pickle them and then uh, once you seal it man they can be in the uh, pickle jar for years or months if you if you want them to last that long so can never go wrong and I heard that pickled asparagus is very delicious I've never tried them just because I like them so much and they don't last <laughs> that long so and uh, for me I, I like my my uh, food kind of fresh as well because I can't really eat a lot of pickle stuff because of the uh, salt I get swollen but for some, it doesn't matter to them. So whatever you want to do, it's fine. It's just some ideas, you know. So I don't know if you hear that eh, 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 sound again. But uh, cicadas here, uh, they are all over, all over the uh, trees. And uh, <laughs> here's the uh, how they look like. They shed. They shed themselves, and that's their their uh, dead skin. See, that's kind of gross looking. Let me show you. See, that's that's how they look like. These things, these things uh, rub their wings or their legs all day long. <laughs> that's all you hear is that, that loud sound, that ring sound. But yeah, so they shed their skin all over. 
they come out and they have new new skin new shell so that's cicada for you in the, in the uh, east coast you guys that's what you hear so okay you guys please like share and subscribe to our channel take care bye thank you